The month of January, an awareness month. Personnel from emergency agencies across Jamaica often visit public institutions such as schools to bring awareness to the natural phenomenon which cannot be forecast like the weather, but could cause widespread destruction in no time. Most don't last longer than 30 seconds, yet they have such capability. It is the sudden shaking of the Earth's crust, an earthquake. What exactly is this seismic wonder? How do they happen? And why is Jamaica experiencing them so often in recent, consecutive months? Is this pointing towards something bigger that may be on the horizon? Let's talk about it, and we will also talk about the Eastern Caribbean later in the video, which has also been experiencing a spike in activity. As usual, here's a question to get your brain a bit more active. To this date on December 2nd, 2023, in what year was the last major earthquake greater than magnitude 7 which struck in the Caribbean Sea? Let's see if your guess is correct at the end of this video. First, let's understand how earthquakes happen. Earth's surface is known as the crust, which includes the land masses such as continents and islands, as well as all ocean basins, but it's a bit deeper than that, literally. Earth's crust goes far beneath and is actually not flat and joined together all around the globe. It is broken up into large pieces, which are known as tectonic plates. So that's right, you're sitting or standing on a plate right now. This map depicts the distribution of plates worldwide and they often interact with each other, which generates earthquakes. There are three types of plate boundaries, convergent, divergent, and transform boundaries. At a convergent boundary, plates move toward each other. At a divergent boundary, plates move away from each other. And at a transform boundary, plates move alongside each other. Let's look at the Caribbean. Most Caribbean islands sit on the Caribbean plate, which is surrounded by major plates such as the North and South American plates. Zooming even closer to Jamaica, there is a microplate found between the North American and Caribbean plate known as the Ganav microplate. The authentic island sits right on the boundary of the Ganav microplate and the Caribbean plate. As a result, the island often experiences earthquakes, around 200 per year on average, but around 6 of them are usually felt. This map by the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management ODPEM, shows the earthquake activity from 2008 to 2018. The key is to the bottom left and shows what magnitude earthquake is indicated by the various dots. Throughout much of the map, many earthquakes of magnitude 3.9 or less are pretty much dispersed but not in the eastern part of the island particularly for the parish of Portland, where we see a great density of quakes of various magnitudes happening in that particular area. A fault line runs through that part of the island, which is pretty active and is continuous into southern Haiti and the Dominican Republic. In 2023, several earthquakes were felt, but in recent months, they've been way more frequent. On September 21st, the earthquake unit of the University of the West Indies Mona recorded a magnitude 4.9 which had its epicenter in the parish of Portland. It was felt by many people and the following day a 3.6 aftershock. On October 30th, Jamaica had its strongest shaking since 1993 and the earthquake unit recorded a magnitude 5.6 quake which resulted in damage across some areas. The epicenter of that moderate quake was also in the parish of Portland and many aftershocks followed, the strongest and estimated magnitude 4.1. The most recent earthquake felt on November 28th had its epicenter in, take a guess, the parish of Portland yet again. It was initially thought to be of magnitude 4.2 but the US Geological Survey has it as a magnitude 3.8. 
So at the latter of the previous three months, light to moderate shakings have been felt across the island within the same general area. Is this trying to tell us something? Are these precursors to a bigger seismic event that may be imminent? The last strong earthquake in Jamaica was about 116 years ago in the year 1907. It is estimated to be between a magnitude 6.2 and 6.5. The epicenter of it was also in the parish of Portland and it caused significant damage in Kingston and around a thousand lives were lost. The ODPEM warned that Jamaica is overdue for a serious earthquake which means one may be imminent. The recent earthquakes frequently happening in eastern Jamaica is a good signal that we should all be vigilant as it could mean that a strong one is on the horizon but there is absolutely no guarantee. In the scenario of such a strong earthquake happening within the same area, the recent quakes may be regarded as foreshocks as they would have preceded the strong quake which would be the main shock. With an earthquake of such a magnitude, moderate aftershocks would be highly likely. Earthquakes are unpredictable, though we can know exactly when they happen due to seismographs which monitor ground motion. So that is all on Jamaica's seismicity. Eastern islands of the Caribbean have also been experiencing a recent surge in earthquakes near Guadeloupe and Antigua. In the space of only 8 hours, three moderate earthquakes were recorded from the night of December 1, 2023 into December 2. The first was a magnitude 4.9 at exactly 10 p.m. local time on December 1st, about 120 kilometers southeast of Antigua and Barbuda. A stronger quake followed a couple hours later around 3.48 a.m., which was a recorded magnitude 5.2 shaken, followed by a magnitude 4.5 almost two hours later. Again, clusters of earthquakes happening in the same area could be a sign that something big may happen. But there is no telling when, and that is why vigilance should be observed. It could be in a matter of days, weeks, months, or even years. The question asked earlier was, to this date on December 2nd, 2023, in what year was the last major earthquake greater than magnitude 7 that struck in the Caribbean Sea? The answer is 2020. The January 28th, 2020 earthquake struck at approximately 2.10 p.m. local time in Jamaica, just under 100 kilometers northwest of the island. It is ranked as one of the strongest shakings in the Caribbean and was a magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake. It was felt strongly in parts of western Jamaica, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Bahamas, and even as far as Florida. Thankfully, no island suffered major damage nor casualties. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And remember, stay vigilant and stay safe. Do enjoy the rest of your day.